So welcome everyone. Um, I'm Betsy Ko and um, also in orange, Wikitree Orange is Aowen Walker and um, we're, um, we're so happy you're here tonight. Um, this is the second of a monthly series for people who are new to Wikitree and I, I still consider myself new to Wikitree. It's been almost two years that I've been at very active on the site. And I do feel like there's, there's a steep learning curve. Um, so we're here to, to answer questions that, that are coming up for you. Um, what seemed to be um, a popular idea last month was that everybody thought it would be helpful to watch me create a profile in um, just sort of, you know, I'll screen share and we'll walk through the steps. So um, does that sound good to everybody? Yes. Yes. Great, great. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll leave time at the, at the end for, for questions that are related or unrelated. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you. Um, okay, can everybody see my my screen? It should say Edward Edward Tudor Edward George Tudor. Yes. Okay, great. Um, and Awen, since I disabled um, that extension, I'll have to, if I just reload. Yeah, it should. It should. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So um, this is my um, my great grand uncle. <laughs> and what we're going to do tonight is we're going to um, add his wife. So um, I mean, whenever you're going to create a profile, just to, I hope, st just state the obvious. I mean, you have to be connecting to somebody who's already there. Maybe it's you. And maybe you're, you know, adding a sibling or a parent, something like that. So we're going to add his spouse. Um, the easiest way to do it is click on spouse. Um, we're going to we're going to assume and hope that this person is not already on WikiTree. Um, so her name is Emily. Her maiden name, last name at birth. Um, and you will all hear um, L-N-A-B. People use that little acronym a lot. Emily Francis, married name, Tudor. Um, we're gonna, I, I've backed up all these things that I'm entering in here with sources. So um, she was born in 1864, estimated she died in 1935. Um, I guess I would say estimated. And then you're, in most cases, you're going to see a list um, of what the system thinks are potential matches. Okay, I can rule out same name, but Australia, um, different, different um, county in England. Um, so I feel confident that that there's no no exact match. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check the two that were the closest, um, and just just show that I I examine those and and um, that I am passing those over on purpose. So then um, she doesn't have a middle name that I am aware of. Her birth location, I love this name, is Fishguard. <laughs> Pembrokeshire. Um, death location, Glamorgan. Um, I've got the right, does everybody see the date range? She died in 1935, so I'm being careful to, to click the right date range. Marriage, 18, uh, oops, 1888. Um, I have a marriage record, so that's certain. Actually, I even know that it was December, so I'll do that. Married in Cardiff. Um, Not sure exactly what they're doing here. Do do people people please uh, feel welcome to ask questions as I'm going along? Should we stop? 
and take some questions. Is it warm? Um, <laughs> so th this is a f the form that comes up first when I, I went on um, a person's an existing profile and said I want to add this person's spouse, and then this is the form that comes up. <laughs> Does that make sense? I guess she's just. I guess she's just explaining what is going on. Yeah, yeah. Um, Eowyn, I've always wondered about this. I can't always see like the full line. Is there a way to see like the full? Of the? Of the, because like this is wrong. This is the wrong date range, but. Yeah, I as far as I know, there's not. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's like that, but yeah. I'm gonna go with that marriage end date when she passed away. Um, no email address, and so now here sources. Um, you you have to enter one source when you create a profile. Um, so what I've done for tonight is I went ahead and and created. Um, um, a list of the sources. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to enter the 1911 census as my my initial um, spouse. Okay, all you do is you just copy it in there. Um, Hi, this is Denise. Can I just ask a question there about sources? Of course, Denise. Go ahead. Okay. So when you're adding sources, if I don't have any source, but I knew that person, hmm. am I the source? I can say he is my uncle. He was known to me. In the heard that term. Yeah. Yeah. You can put um, firsthand knowledge. Okay. Yeah. Um, and but but it would be good to I, I to add on to that um, some sources if you can find okay. it. Yeah. Or you might know somebody in your family, like a generation or so beyond me, you know, previous to me, may have known that person and told me about that person. Mm -hmm. So how do you reference that? Um so I, I would guess something similar like uh, uh, firsthand knowledge from, um, say now if it was your, your say your mother told you about this. Yes. Okay. So, um, and if your mother, a nice way to do it, I think, is if your mother's on Wikitree, uh, has a profile, you could okay. say firsthand knowledge from and then link her, her Wikitree profile. So okay. it just shows the connection. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Sure, sure, of course. Um, Betsy, I have a question about sources. Yes. Um, okay, so I understand, you know, they don't want us to, um, you know, put sources down that require someone to have a paid subscription somewhere. And I'm, I'm really passionate about making sure my rabbit trails or whatever I leave behind is like that. Mm -hmm. If I find a document through a paid site like Ancestry, Mm -hmm. and um, like a census record, and I see the citation on it, mm -hmm. um, am I breaking any rules if, um, I mean, I'm using that for my own research, but am I breaking any rules if I want to say, here's a census record, and here's a citation, it, you know, Ancestry, um, Ancestry did the, the work and made it available, Family Search doesn't have it available, but um, but I found it, and here's the citation for it. Yeah, what are the, that's what are the totally rules? fine. Yeah, we encourage to try to not use the pay sites if you can, but if the only source citation that you have is from a paid site, it's we definitely want to have that there. I think that's totally fine. Ancestry doesn't own the data. They just point you to it. So you should be putting down enough information 
to point yourself or have somebody else be able to go find the data at the census site. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So basically, like with Ancestry, it'll put Ancestry, but it also has NARA there, N -A -R, for the National Archives. Right. And you copy from NARA on, and right. you have the census number, the um, the old labels when we used to have to use the reals, the real number and all that. And that's what you copy. You leave off Ancestry. Yeah, and you can even see if we if we examine this citation, um, which I you know is a census that I got off Family Search. But if you look at it a little more closely, it does say find my past, which is which is a paid site. But then of course the original records are at the National Archives. In in right, the, so and the same with death records. You put the actual state that it came from, mm -hmm. not ancestor's name. <laughs> So drum roll at that point, now I'm ready to officially create. Okay, so as you can see, um, we've, we've got, uh, I can't see the profile. Oh, she's going to be Francis9675 um, is the new, new profile. So up at the top, you can see all the information that I entered in, uh, birth year and place, that she's the wife of Charles Henry Tudor. Um, she's got some children that could be added. They, they had children who could be added in. Um, you, would become, you would be the profile manager. And um, the system does automatically generate just like this very, very simplistic biography um, from, from what you've entered above. Um, and then, as I mentioned to you, I, I, I really, I feel strongly that I want to back up everything uh, that, that, I, that I put in, uh, like the birth year and the birthplace. So I'm going to also now, now I'm going to go to my citations we've we use the census um but of course as we all know women are are tricky in genealogy and so someone could come to me and say well how do you know that her maiden name was francis <laughs> and so i i was able to um define the marriage record um so let's put that in so now when i go to edit um I'll do an inline citation so um, I can add to the bio. Um, she married. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and hyperlink um, her husband's. Um, so the way you do that, if in, in case you don't already know, is the profile. Single line, Charles Henry Tudor um, in December of 1888. And then I just come back and I do cite your source. Now I'm going to just drop that in. I'm actually going to get rid of that asterisk. Don't need that okay and now if i preview we'll see you see that i've hyperlinked her her spouse and now i've documented um the the record in in finding this record i will say um brought up a um a really nice um, example of WikiTree's collabor the collaborative nature of the community. Um, because when I found the marriage record initially, um, it said, um, it was just an index, and it said for, for Charles Henry Tudor that the possible spouse was Cecilia Watkins. And everything else was correct, but I thought, oh no. So I, I know somebody in the WikiTree community who's in Wales, and I was pretty sure that she was on Find My Past. So um, 
I, I messaged her and I said, could you look up this record for me or, or give me any ideas on how I can verify this? And she wrote back pretty much in about 15 minutes and she sent me this um, from Free BMD, um, which birth, marriage, death in the UK. And so you can see there are my two people. And so I felt much reassured that I had the right record. And there, Cecilia Watkins was on the same page underneath. But, you know, so, so it's really, really nice when you know you have this big community where you could just reach out and people will help you like that to feel more confident about things. So, um, and in, then you can see that the other source that we initially put in, that's just uh, hanging out at the bottom. Um, it's not an inline citation yet. Um, the other two things that I like to add are uh, a birth record, birth registration. Um, so, I'll, and, and I'll do that as an inline uh, for for the birth statement. I was born about in Fishguard, Pembrokeshire, and now I'll cite my source. Preview. And so you can see that now this is number one and the marriage registration has just automatically become number two. And then um, death record. Passed <clears throat> away uh, about, whoops. Oh. In Glamorgan. Right. So now, there, now I've created three, three um, uh, inline citations. Um, now, the other thing, we, we touched on Excuse this Excuse me, Betsy? Yes, of course. Um, uh, in those sources there, I noticed that the first few have numbers beside them and then that last one you put in just has a dot? Right. Um, that's because, well, let's look at it up here. Um, the first three are inline citations. So I, I appended them to a statement that I made in the biography, whereas this last one is just hanging out underneath sources. Okay. So, so eventually, it, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, is it better to, is it better to have them all one way or the other? It's uh, inline citations are preferred. Um, but, um, you know, you sometimes I will just um, have some sort cite sources down below that I haven't had time to weave into a full biography. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, yeah, I'll probably go back and catch that up into the narrative later. Thank you. Yeah. Um, any other questions? Betsy, I see a question in the chat box yes. um, from Sally who says, if you had found Emily in that list mm -hmm. when you first started to add her, mm -hmm. how would you add her to the new profile? Well, if I, if I had found uh, the, my match, then I wouldn't have to have created a new pro I wouldn't have to create a new profile in the first place. Um, so sometimes that happens. And then you can just say, oh, yes, this is my person. And then it's just a matter of linking the Emily that you found to the, 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 the husband that was already on. And the hopefully you don't have to go and delete the other husband. <laughs> Right. Um, so yeah, sometimes that happens. That um, usually not in my experience, but occasionally, and then that's really exciting because then you've just connected two parts of the tree that should be connected that weren't previously. Um, 
Let me just show one other thing. Um, so um, we touched on this last time, research notes. So if I want to create that heading, it's just the two equal signs, whatever, and then the two equal signs. And what I'm going to say is um, Emily's birthplace in the 1901 census is listed as Fishguard. However, her birth record lists, um, what is it, Haver, Haverford West. And that's just something that um, uh, I found a little bit uh, disconcerting, I, I think, from the minimal research that I did, um, that, that Fishguard is the small little town. It's about 15 miles north of Haverford West. Um, and that Haverford West was probably like the central location where the registrations, births and deaths were done. And so that's why there's that discrepancy. But I want to make a note of that. And then um, if you want to sign off on it so someone knows that it's you who's saying that you do four of those little curly Q things on, on the upper left side of your um, keyboard, that's kind of like putting a signature on it. I don't think it's strictly necessary on a profile where you're the profile manager, but I always do that if I'm on somebody else's profile and I'm adding in a research note, just sort of red flagging something or um, calling attention to something so that it's kind of, well, it's just your, your signature. Um, so having done that, now we have to uh, say what we've done. We've added sources, we improved the bio, and we did research notes. Shouldn't I be able to AONG? Oh, there. Okay. Yeah, it adds them. Okay. All right. And now let's see. Um, so there you can see the sort of signature that you get um, in the research note, what those, those little curly cues um, create. So if anyone wants to look at this on their own computer without me scrolling up and down, just go to Francis 9675. <clears throat> so um, questions? We can, we can um, move on to completely different topics. Um, we can show how to add a photo. Um, we can show how to do fun things like italics and bold and indenting and bullet points in a profile, if that would be of interest to people. I have another question if, you're, if you can yes. hear me. I can, Georgia, go ahead. Okay, um, there's two guys with the same name. Okay. One has the profile in Wikitree, one does not have it yet. The wife that belongs to the second guy has been wrongly assigned to the first guy. Uh, Once I create the new profile for the new guy, how do I move the wife over? Um, so that's a great question. So let's, let's um, we're not going to save anything, but I'll show you. Um, okay, so if we go edit within Emily, um, and you see over here on the right, shows she's married to Charles Henry, we could edit that marriage. And then what you can do is remove the marriage. So that, that's what I think you need to do. Does that make sense, Georgia? Yes, thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. 
but first you should make sure it actually is a different person. Yes, yeah, of course. Oh, I'm absolutely sure it's a different person. I have a half an inch thick file on the second guy. <laughs> not the same, same name, but not the same guy. Um, hey, how do I, uh, how do I get out? Can I just close this and it'll be, it won't, nothing will be saved? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> and then the ever helpful all the way at the bottom, return to profile without saving. <laughs> what? What? You need to open the door wall a little. Do we have, um, I can't see the chat. Do we have try, try to be real quiet about it? Well, she's pretending to be. Here's Georgina's iPad. One ear going. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and now it's John. <laughs> okay. We're looking, uh, looking at the chat. <laughs> yeah, if you can, John, that's who's. How do you upload pictures? Okay. Um, I have an example of that. So uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, we go to another tutor, and um, so, um, okay, I've got, God, there's my photo. All right. So we go under images, and it says, would you like to upload a source image? Click to upload it, and I have it all set to go here on my my desktop. So what's the matter? No, I can't get the uh, screen to work. That's all right. Yeah. There we go. That's better. Okay. So now I've got my, my JPEG. Um, now this is a photo that I found on an ancestry tree. Oh, I'm up. I'll just step over here and Steal yes. a kiss. So uh, what? We can see you. Be careful. <laughs> I don't want to see it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, do, the, do these people know that they are not muted? Thanks, everyone. Um, so I, I made sure that I emailed the uh, or sent a message to the ancestry user and asked for permission. I, I said, you know, I explained what Wikitree was. I gave him the link of, uh, of the, the profile and asked if he minded if I uploaded it to Wikitree. And it took a little while. Sometimes people are slow to respond, but eventually, happily, he did. So what I'm gonna say is used with permission of Ancestry user uh, and then I'm just going to use his his uh, ancestry username, David R. Edwards two zero zero three, um, and then um, I don't I don't have anything more elaborate than um, that. It's Edward. I'm yeah, Edward George. Tutor seated with brother. Um, I don't have a specific location or date. Um, and then this is definitely a photo of the individual. Now I upload. And there we go. Um, and I think by default, it becomes the profile picture. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. If you don't want it to be the profile picture, like like sometimes um, it, it's just my personal preference. I don't I don't necessarily like to use a tombstone as as the profile picture, but I might want that photo on the profile. You can you can come down. Ah, 
you can come down here and uncheck that. And that will that will still keep it on the profile, but it won't it won't be the uh, the the one up in the upper left corner. So you can <laughs> upload more than one picture then, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, okay. Also down at the bottom page, um, and this is this is helpful. Um, see his his brother is in there uh, in the photo as well. If I I don't have his brother's number, his wiki tree number on here, but if I did, I could just type it in here, and then the photo would also be attached to his brother. Yeah. So Wiki, WikiTree tries really hard not to have people uploading the same photo, you know, like five places. You know, it's much better to, to just link it. And if you wanted to remove the picture, how would you do that? If I wanted to remove it, um, there's got to be a. It's down at the bottom. It's down where you were. It's right here. Don't go back up. You're right there. Where you add the person right above it. See where it says people and things on oh, the image? I see it. Yeah. So I you see remove. It. So if you want the image removed from just this profile, you'd remove right there. But say you had like four or five profiles linked. If you want the picture completely gone, you have to remove it from each profile. Okay. So if okay. you just remove it from one, it's going to stay on the other one still. Okay. Thank you. Uh huh. What uh, what type of um, I know you you use JPEG, but are there other limit are there limitations on what kind of pictures? Yeah, Aon, do you know? I think just about anything I know, JPEG, um, PNGs work. You can upload a PDF. Um, yeah, I think most most file types work. There's a help page that's the it's photo FAQ, and that helps answer a lot of the photo questions too. Well, does does anyone have want to be our our guinea pig and um, give us a profile ID that they're working on and maybe having trouble making it cooperate? Then we can look at it as a group. I had a question. Yes. So I'm new to Wiki and I'm new to all the intricacies of Wiki. Mm -hmm. So the other day I got an invitation to join Discord. Mm -hmm. Now I'm starting to get unsolicited emails from Discord saying, hey, you've got a message, or five messages. When I go to Discord, I can't really find them. So what's, what's the point of Discord and how does it help me advance what I'm doing inside Wiki? Um, well, so, hmm. Um, Discord is just a, a really handy way for the smaller subgroups on WikiTree, like the you know the Scotland Project or or the Ambassadors. They all have their own channels, and it's just a very handy way to communicate. Um, and everybody is on there with their WikiTree ID number, so it's sort of clear. <clears throat> To, to know who's who, like I'm Co31, which is the same as my profile um, ID. I don't, I don't remember getting a lot of, when I joined Discord, I don't remember getting a lot of emails about it. Um, Eowyn, do you know why that would be? Um, it would just depend maybe on, was it with a specific project, John? Yeah, tonight. So, am I also in understanding you're right that the Discord lane of traffic that I'm in is that I'm involved in the Scotland project. Mm -hmm. So, all the people that are in there are also likewise in the Scotland project as opposed to like the greater Wiki yeah. group. Yeah. 
Yeah, oh, okay. so there, there are a few projects that have their own Discord server, and Scotland is one of those. So um, just based on how they set it up, you, you probably would get a variety of messages from the different groups that they have in there. Yeah, so so John, I'm in the Scotland project, so I'll see you on the Discord. Chat. <laughs> <laughs> and and well, I'm, I'm not I'm, sure yet. Yeah, it takes a it takes a little while to get used to. You can also mute certain things um, so that you don't get an alert like every time somebody says something in the Scotland channel. Um, you can just mute so you only get certain types of alerts. Yeah, one of the things I'm the. Uh a project administrator for Clan McTavish. So I get like 20 or 30 emails a day sometimes. So I'm trying to um, dial oh. down the, the, the air traffic I'm getting from some of these sites so I can actually do some work. Yeah, no doubt. Um, Betsy, uh, I have uh, a profile that you could possibly have a look at. Um, when I when I go into my unconnected profiles on watch list, I've got two. One of them is it's um, Arthur Trembath. So he's Trembath-207. Okay, hang on a second. Um, how do you spell the last name? T-R-E-M-B-A-T-H. Okay. And it's dash 207. And it's got a little icon next to it saying unconnected branch table. Now, this is this is not a profile I created, but I've taken over managing. It was obviously created by Richard Bell. Mm -hmm. And I, I just, I'm not quite sure. It, it says it's unconnected. I'm not quite sure what I have to do or because it, it, he's got children. He doesn't have an, uh, any ancestors, but he's very early. So I really can't do anything too much with him. Um, I, I know he needs tidying up, but uh, there are some sources there, even though they're not correctly formed or anything yet. Yeah. Um, I could go in and, and do some stuff with them. But uh, when it says unconnected branch table, what, what, what? <laughs> Oh, sorry, where is that? I'm looking. Oh, that's that's when I go into unconnected people in in my my shortcuts. It's oh. it's um you know I go find and it says unconnected people and it says two unconnected profiles on my on my watch list and he's one of them and it's got this funny little icon. I could share my screen with you if if, if I'm allowed to, uh, so you can see that or not. Um. What do you, uh, Eowyn, is that possible? Or? Let me see if we can. Yeah, I don't see a way to the do other that. Thing, the other thing, I'm just curious, because you're right, he has children. Yeah, yeah. But so are the why... children, so unconnected means that he's not connected to the main part of the tree yet. Okay, and it so be, some, like, yes. if, if we looked at his kids, it, like... Oh, maybe, the, they're, maybe they're there isn't the link down. Each other. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, so, so I need to, I need to get um, his descendants linked into mm -hmm. my tree. That's what, that's what yeah. it requires? Yeah, yep. okay. Okay, that's fine. I can, I can certainly do that. I probably haven't um, he's not my ancestor, he's my husband's, but um, yeah, I can, I can certainly, uh, I, I possibly haven't got that far because I'm, I, I started out really, really excited adding people and then realized I had to put a lot more effort into each person I was adding. <laughs> and, uh, and, and so some of those branches I haven't taken back as far as I have in my own records yet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and chances are good. He's far enough back that You'll probably go to add someone at some point and they'll already exist on WikiTree and then yeah. you'll be able to just connect right in. Sure. Thank you. Right, right. So, I mean, sometimes it's it's just a matter of like plugging in spouses and then yeah. like magic, they're connected. So Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. It, it just confused me because it, it, it said he was unconnected and I'm thinking, well, uh, he's you got know, he's got, he's got family. <laughs> right. Right, I guess it really is that it's a branch. It's a, it's a, yeah, like, yeah, that it is a multi generation branch that's just kind of floating out there. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. That that makes sense. And I shall do something about that. <laughs> Good luck. Keep us posted. Thank you. When you get somebody that wants to merge, or you're going to merge two different profiles, um, and some of the information is not correct, or what you think is not correct, how do you go about merging and who merges into which profile? <laughs> right. Okay. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, yes, I do. I've only been involved in a few merges um, in my two years. Um, there is there's a process and there's a button somewhere. Um, I anyone where was the, the bottom? Oh yeah. So, I mean, initiate a merge. Supposing I decided that there was another Arthur Trembath and he was Trembath 180, and I wanted to merge them. Um, so. It, you always um, you would be in touch with the other profile manager. Um, they they would get it once you initiate a merge. They would get a message about it, and then um, there would be some communication. You always the the profile. I want to correct me if I'm wrong, but it goes to the the earlier profile number, right? The yeah, it merge the higher profile merges into the lower number right. profile. Right. So whatever was created first becomes the one composite. And um, there is an opportunity to, um, to compare side by side. And I guess if there were disagreements, Eowyn, what would happen? I mean, would... Well, and that's the little bit of the tricky part with merges is it's gonna be one or the other of you that's gonna be able to go through and click what, you know, what dates stay and things like that. So, um, I just always go back to check and make sure, you know, what stayed and that the sources are still there. Um, if there's some kind of dispute about the information, like you can talk to the profile manager about that or make sure there's good notes in the profile that just talk about, you know, any discrepancies in the dates or places or names, like the research notes that Betsy was doing. Um, you know, sometimes you'll see people put like disputed section about whatever there's issues about. Um, I, I would say overall merges tend to go pretty smoothly, but sometimes there are, you know, some conflicts. And well, my, my concern was on one of my the merges that I went into, it was a different profile manager that ended up with it, but I had done a lot of the research. And so I think what I'll do with what Betsy did is to go in and do research notes and then mm -hmm. they'll know that, and I can change that in, in, yeah. in an edit. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, you can also make a request to be a co like a shared profile manager. And who do I do that to with? Uh, with the person who's already um, the the pro the profile manager. Okay, I think I did send a message, but I never heard back. Hmm. Yeah, there's a process called the um, unresponsive profile manager process. So if you're having a hard time getting an act a profile manager to respond you can go through that and it's it's not hard it's basically you just leave a comment try and contact them and if you don't hear from them you can let us know at info at wikitree.com and then at we try now? and contact at, them at what um let me find the help page or betsy can you find the help page did, yes. did you want to did you want to do um a suggested merge because i've just found it found that i do have arthur in my tree and this other profile um, is a is actually a uh, duplicate. So so Trembath two oh seven is the same as Trembath twenty. Oh oh nice interesting. Hang on, I'm very I'm let's let's look at Trembath twenty. Let's look at them side by side. Eowyn, I'm sorry, I don't know where to find the help page. Eowyn, hmm? the, the I don't know where to find the help page that you were saying, asking me to find? Stuart's in the chat now. Yeah. Oh, Stuart's okay. doing a, yeah, he's oh. doing a good job adding help pages to the chat. Trimbath 20? Yeah, you've got photo and stuff in there too at the moment, oh. in the URL. Oh, I see, yes, you're right. That's why it's not working. Okay, 1663 to 1731, yeah. 
I see the same birthplace. And now, do you know Joseph Perry? No, that's not somebody I know. Hmm. And Chris Wright, you don't all, you also, you don't. Know. That's me. That's her. That's me. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> but see, I, I took over that profile because it was Got an it. orphan. I see it. Got it. So you need to be in touch with Joseph Perry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to, you can click on his name. I'm going to guess he hasn't been active for a while. And he, let's see, he was last active in February of 2019. But he did show up to do a merge, so he might propose the merge and he might. Yeah. Okay. So maybe I propose a merge mm -hmm. um, to him and um, and then we can uh, work on it. Because because the, the the one of these profiles was created, his one was created in 2011, yeah. and the one I managed was created in 2014. So mm -hmm. um, they're, they're both fairly old. Right, right. Yes. So then it would uh, the the remain once the merge happens, you'll have Arthur as Trembath twenty. Yeah. Okay. So so um, can you show us all sort of the steps that we should take to propose this merge? Would that would that help other people? Uh, I think that's a good topic. Um, oh, do you want to do that as a separate, <laughs> separate <laughs> webinar? <laughs> I, I just, uh, I'm not sure how to do this because I don't want to, you want to propose the merge. You I do, yeah. See, yeah. But see, you don't have to go all the way through the process. Okay. We can all just right. go to the point, to a certain point. <laughs> and then I can turn back. <laughs> and then you can just stop. <laughs> all right, good. So do so, I need on Chris's profile? Yeah, or? so you'll want to start from the higher one. Yep. Okay. And then initiate a merge. Ah, okay. And yeah. then this is where you put Trembath 20, put in right. Trem yeah. And then if you scroll down a bit, don't click merge because then you'll. Right. But um, when you're ready to do it, you just click merge and yeah. it'll initiate the merge. I've, it, sh it should pop up a screen where you give a reason why you think they're the same person. Sure. So just put that note in and then um, you can, there'll be like a next button or something. And that will initiate the merge. It'll send an email to Joseph, um, just saying that the merge is there. Hopefully, he pops up in response. If not, after thirty days, um, you'll be able to go ahead and do the merge. Myself. You, yeah, it defaults after thirty days if there's no response. Oh yeah, I got ready. Oh great! Thank Mine's you so ready. much. That's really oh, good. I like the compare when I'm looking mm -hmm. during the merge. When I'm yeah, doing you, merges. You could do that, Betsy, if you want to show yeah. the compare. Um, it's it really is easy because to... there, there are some little differences in there. I can see mm -hmm. that, um, you know, the date of, of death. Uh, but given given that time frame, that's not um, a terribly surprising. Um, oh, and and that would and he's both, not both. given as a son. Yeah, it's. And oh, that'd be good. That'll connect that whole branch then, if that works. Yeah, yeah and this is this is yours on the right, yes? Uh, this is on the left. Mine's on the left. on the left. So yeah. I noticed that we have a spouse over here. Yes, and that spouse is correct. Yep. Petronel Davy, yes. Mm -hmm. That's that's a spouse. And oh, yeah, the one, on, look... on, on the right, it's got parents and everything. So yeah, that's and that, those are correct. Yeah, the biography for Chris has the info with the spouse. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, I have a feeling Arthur is not going to be unconnected that much longer. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> can, I, can I just say that there is a discrepancy with the mother because the baptism gives the name as Jane, and the one of the profiles gives the name as Cheston. So ah. there is a discrepancy, and those sort of things may need to be looked at. Of course, yes. So there may be two authors, although there's only one in the OPC, but I've only just looked for full name. So I haven't done any wild cards or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Did I understand that uh, correctly, that 
uh, if you request a merge and you're going to get a response within 30 days that you can just go ahead and do it yeah the system will default it and at that point anybody can complete the merge not even just the profile managers yeah okay, after good, 30 good. days now um sometimes there's something that resets that i don't remember exactly what that is right now um but most of the time just after 30 days it'll default I, I had one about six months ago and I tried to contact the guy a couple of times and didn't get a response. And I just kind of walked away because uh, that was the part of my family I needed to tie into theirs. So, okay, this is Yeah, good. you should be able to, to put that through. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. So you guys all sound like you're really savvy with Wikitree. So I'm real excited and I'm going to have to play with it more. I have some yes. real basic questions okay Fire so away. um first of all i mean i know there's a lot of stuff in help for people like me and Stuart, wherever you are thank you because i've been putting questions in the chat and then you guys just like bang out those links so thank very you very helpful okay it's very helpful so you know well little stickers for Stuart. <laughs> so um or whatever you know the, the thing the points or whatever so um Okay, the first thing is, um, if I if I put my tree on here, can my family, if they, um, or or other people that are trying to find um, out about this, can they see? Can other people see my tree? Because that's what I'd like to be able to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's um, let's see. Um, Arthur's not too well connected. Let me go to. Um, to Emily, actually, let me go to her husband's. And then if you go to family tree up here on any profile, you'll see that little branch. Okay. Um, now, supposing I want to see, uh, you know, and then I can switch, switch who the pivotal person is. Um, him, the center. Um, Eowyn, what are good ways to see, like a large, like, I guess there's fan chart apps, right? Yeah, the, it's a little beyond just the basics. There's different yeah. apps where you can look, you know, um, at a more, like try the dynamic tree view. See the, see the button right up there? Keep going um, up a little bit. No. Oh, Down? Yeah. yeah. Got it. Oh. Oh, it makes, it does make you just log into it. Yeah. So there's just, there's a lot of different ways that you can look at your tree. Um, another thing to know is we work really hard to be really well indexed in Google. So like say somebody's searching and they put in your great, great grandfather's name, your Wikitree profile is likely to be one of the first things that would come up for that. So um, it's really great for cousin bait in that way. Let's try it. Charles Edward. Tutor. My heart always stops when I tell this because someone always wants to try it and then I'm always afraid it won't actually work. <laughs> It'll be like the one that doesn't. That's going to be a hard one because his name is. Um, We're getting some. We're oh, there he is. But it did there bring up is. his tree. There he is. Boom. That brought, he's right there. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. All right. And and this the second out of two questions, okay, because I am so green at this. I know enough to be dangerous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've created my profile. I'm getting messages. I had no idea what to do with that. So thank you for sharing that part. Um, but like, okay, if if the people that I've been researching already have a profile and I have more information to add. Mm -hmm. Where is it on the screen? Do you do you app? Do you try to contact the profile manager? Can you? Um, I know everybody's like so much further than I am, and I apologize, but um, not, not not at all. So <laughs> it does depend on the privacy level, but mostly um, 
I've encountered that I can make changes to a profile. Um, you know, so see this icon over here? That mm -hmm. means that, that uh, I can, you know, you could make changes. You could go in to George Tudor and, and go ahead and edit. Um, you'll know that it's not possible if it's locked um, or, or if there's no edit button. <laughs> That's the yeah. real cue. We like to say be bold and be polite. So it's sort of like if you're adding sources or you're adding, you know, to the bio, be bold, like go for it. If you're changed, if you feel like a parent needs to be changed and you're not the profile manager, we would encourage you to just talk to the profile manager, show them why you think it needs to be changed and, and work with them on that. So, you know, big changes, you want to be polite, everything else, just be bold. Okay. I'm, really, I'm really shocked. Elizabeth Tudor is unlocked. I thought that Elizabeth the first would be like a notable who would be. Um, well, protected. she's she's project protected, which means yeah. um, she can't just be merged into. Right. That's that's the highest level of protection we really have. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, it. I found a I found the mistress of <laughs> of my grand grandfather, my great grandfather, um, who lived in the same house with my grandmother. And um, so grand, grandpa, great grandpa, divorced great grandma and married um, the mistress. And so she had his, you know, she had a maiden name, then she had a married name. And then after he died, she married again, but she was buried with the man she had the mistress with. And so her her last name on the headstone doesn't match. It took me forever to figure out who she was. And then her sister was buried. So she and her sister were buried with the man that she married after having an affair. It's wow. a Jerry Springer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of following you, yes. <laughs> That, that congrats on, on sorting that out. That sounds like a headbanger. <laughs> so I just, I was gonna go back to what Betsy said real quick. Some other sites do lock down notable profiles. So like royal profiles and like really famous people, their profiles are locked and can only be edited by a specific group of people. We don't do that. So, you know, Anything that's an open profile is still going to be able to be edited by any wiki genealogist. The only exception to that is when it's project protected. And that really only prevents the last name at birth from being changed and it prevents merges going their own way. So. We had a question from Don. Yes, um, regarding uh, profile pic or any kind of photographs and images. I, I uploaded my first image just now as we were doing this. Yay. And I added my father's image, but I put him under my profile by mistake. Is there any way I can move him to where he belongs? Yes. Um, so, so would the best way be um, to go under, can, can you give us the uh, your profile? Would you, would you mind? Sure. Uh, is there a number or something? I, um... I guess, so you put it on your profile, right? Yes. What is your profile? Um, how do I find that out? Okay, it's a minute. Oh. Up towards the top in the URL bar, it'll say like Rampone dash something. Okay, Rampone dash nine. Okay, sorry. Okay, Rampone dash nine. Okay. Yeah, that's neat. There we go. There we go. And yeah, and there's my father's picture there. Okay, so okay. just going to click on that. Yeah, you won't be able to because it's private, private. Super oh, but, but so if you, hmm. go ahead, Edwin. I was just gonna say, if you do that, if you go to the, the image like she did, you'll see what we showed you before on the image page where you can add and remove from profiles. You, um... I, I'm gonna go back to. Uh, yeah, uh, go back to that one and I, we can show them on there. 97 there okay so this is the one we added earlier tonight yeah okay and what i would do is i would 
add your father to to the profile and then then remove him from your so in that box the empty box below where her mouse is right now you would put his profile id which is probably a room pony 10 or 11 would be my guess right you put that there and add him and then you would remove yourself from it but i, I actually have my picture in the right place it's it's his that's needs to be moving to his uh, but it's on your profile right yes yeah, okay oh i got yeah. you okay yeah, so you're going to add it also to his profile, and then it will show both of your profiles under that section. Okay, so add person. So I need his number then. Um, yeah. Where do I find his number easily? Um, read the beginning of this. So I'm just going to go find, find his, his profile. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, he is Ram Pony um, 10. Okay. Yeah. Ram Pony 10. So I have so to go back to mine. Okay. Um, and then if you scroll down a bit, you'll still have to save it. So you have to go back to me. Yeah, save changes. Uh, yeah, I can't seem to find get back to me just a minute. Are, are you in the section that says edit image details? No, I'm just trying to get back to me. Oh, <laughs> Should be easier than this. Oh, uh, there we are. Okay, I'm back to me. Okay, now. Okay, down here. Uh, Oh, I'm okay. I've got mine on here now. Got to get back to that box where you are. Comments. No, no I can't find that spot again now. Basically, you want to click on the image. Yeah, you can just click and on then the you'll get get to this sort of page. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, yeah, that's pretty here. Okay. Ram pony ten. And then scroll, scroll down and save that. Save changes. Okay. Okay. Then go back up to the section you're at, and it should show both the profiles there. Uh, so which section? Oh, Under. so it would be up here, and it would say in this image, and it would be you and the, and your dad. Okay, yeah, I see. Okay, the picture was just yeah. too big here. Okay, I yeah. see. Bring it up. Okay, yes. Okay. So then go back to the section where you can add or remove people, mm -hmm. and then just click the button under yours for remove from image. Okay, now who, which one I should be on then? I should be on. Remove it from you. Um, okay, where's removed? Where's removed? Add this. Um, it should, do you see my cursor? Yeah, uh, people and things in the image. Don't see that? Oh, here we go. Okay, gotcha. Okay, remove. Oh, here we go. And click under yours. Under me. Oh. Not his, you want to click under yours. How do I unclick? <laughs> okay, I've accidentally clicked the wrong person. How do I how do I unclick? Just refresh the screen. Uh, okay. And <laughs> quick question, how do I refresh the screen? <laughs> oh, up here in the See where my cursor is next okay, to I'm, I'm on a Mac here. Um, I am too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, oh, I don't see that. Do you see? Oh, here we are. Okay. Are you sure you want to send the form again? Yeah, because it'll clear it. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. I'm removing it from me. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and once then... you click that, just scroll down and save again. Okay. Then you should be set. And now it should only be on your dad's profile. And then we made it the wrong way. Uh, I think I did the wrong way, actually. Well, I don't know where I am here. Okay. Let's... Okay. Oh, yeah. It's there. It's on your yeah. dad's profile. I'm on your dad's profile. Ah. And there okay. it is. And so if I now. 
I have to go and dive, click it, make it his profile or something. Yes. Okay. The, yeah. the primary photo. Yeah. 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 Where was that? The primary photo. I remember seeing it. Mm -hmm. um, if you go back here, um, it's on the right. Scroll down. And it's sort of on, on the other side from where you just were working. Set as primary photo. Okay. I need to go get it. Okay. I think I'm close. Prime for okay, there we go. Um, edit family, edit. No, I'm in the wrong place here. Set as primary for edit image details. Oh, I'm under edit data. Sorry, I'm in the wrong one. Under images? Mm -hmm. Okay, there we yep. go. Okay. Uh, edit image details. Yeah, I think I'm going to go right across from there. Right, edit. Ah, we go. Got, finally, finally got it. Okay. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Should we check? Yeah. Uh, Let's see, there's you and your dad. There hey. It is. Hey. Okay. Thank you very much. Yep. You're welcome. <laughs> we All should right. probably wrap it up for tonight. Exactly. Would you ever be doing anything on DNA? Uh, sure. You know, yes. you know the DNA connections and the percentages and that. Mm -hmm. and yeah, we can plan to do that. Um, that'd be great. Let's make sure. I want to make sure, Aon, before we shut shut out the session, that. Um, I want to um, save the chat because I didn't really get to read the chat and I see questions and, you know. Yes, it stores it. I can send it to you. That'd be awesome. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Um, so thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Um, hope you'll be back um, next. We'll, we'll be back um, the first Thursday in November. Or if you're if you're really keen, we're gonna do another one this Sunday, um, at uh, let's see, uh, noon Eastern time, Eastern Standard Time. Yep. So. And can I ask, how will we be able to access the chat? Because I didn't have a chance to look at everything. Is there a way to do that? Um. There, mm, mm. um let me try and figure that out. I probably can do, it saves it for us. I think I can download it and then maybe I can put a link in the G to G post. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. I'll Which, try and do that. I think you can save it to your computer. <laughs> yeah, I, I think there's that. a, do you guys have the chat button down at the bottom of your Zoom screen? Yeah. Yeah. If you click that little arrow next to it. Oh, share. Wow. Do you have one that says save chat? I see um, three dots. Um, for, let me see. Where's the chat? Oh, save chat. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So you should yeah, able save, to show in a folder. Yeah. Who knows where that went? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it created a folder called zoom under my documents okay okay gotcha thank you mm -hmm. thank you very much yes this was a lot of fun everyone thank you so much for coming thank you bye all right bye have a good evening bye